guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be all of our family favorite air fryer recipes so I actually went back through some of my older videos and I pulled out all of my favorite air fryer recipes these are the recipes that I will make over and over again they're super delicious and I know you guys are going to love them I also thought it would be really nice to have all of my favorite air fryer recipes in one spot for you guys just make it really quick and easy if you ever need to find a recipe and I'm sure a lot of you probably got air fryers for Christmas so I figured this would be perfect timing to do this video. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you over on my channel. I share a lot of cooking content, really quick and easy recipes, crock pot meals, what's for dinners, and other food related content. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into all of these air fryer recipes. So for this first recipe, I'm making some air fryer chicken parmesan, which is one of our all-time family favorites. Both my husband and I love this one. So I'm starting off with adding about three quarters cup of Italian panko breadcrumbs right into my dish. And then along with that, I'm doing about half a cup of Parmesan cheese. For seasonings, it's very easy. You're just going to want about one teaspoon of regular salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and then a tablespoon of some dried parsley. And then I'm just mixing all of this together. And this is gonna be such a yummy coating for the chicken parmesan. Now onto a separate plate, I'm adding about half a cup of all-purpose flour. This is also just gonna be used to coat the chicken. And then into another separate bowl, you're going to crack two eggs in there and just whisk those together. After I have all of my ingredients prepped and ready to go, I'm just taking my chicken breast here. So for my chicken, I'm using two chicken breasts, but I did slice them in half lengthwise. You do want really nice thin chicken for this recipe. It just turns out way better, so make sure that you either pound your chicken down with a mallet or you can cut it in half like I did. And then to actually coat the chicken, you're first going to dip it into the flour, then into the egg wash, and then last of all, you're gonna put it into the panko breadcrumb mixture. And this is gonna make such a really good coating on your chicken. Like I said, this is our all-time favorite dinner, and it's also very affordable to make, so this is a great date night dinner, or when you just want a really delicious meal. So you can actually pan fry this chicken and put it in the oven. That's what I used to do. But in the last couple months, I recently discovered that I love to put it in the air fryer. It turns out so good this way. So I'm using my Alec Holmes air fryer and I'm just putting two pieces of the chicken right into the air fryer. I do go ahead and spray the bottom of the base just so nothing sticks. And then I'm also going to be spraying at the top of the chicken just to kind of help it crisp up a little bit. And then I'm just gonna put this in the air fryer at 350 degrees for about 10 or 11 minutes on each side until my chicken is fully cooked through. Once my chicken has reached an internal temp of 165, I'm just adding on my marinara sauce. This is just the Great Value brand one. And then I'm also going to be topping it with some mozzarella cheese, putting it back in there for just a couple of minutes until the cheese melts and turns a little bit golden brown. And this is so good. If you have never tried making chicken Parmesan before, I highly recommend giving it a try in your air fryer. For this next recipe, I'm making some air fryer pizzas, and this is definitely one of my favorite things to make my kids for a really quick and easy lunch. Super good and very, very fast to put together. So on this particular day, I just had some of these pepperoni sticks to use up, but you can also use full-size pepperoni if you want to, or you can get the little mini ones from the store. But for myself, I just chopped these up quick, and I'm gonna add them to the top of my pizza. 
You can use any tortilla that you want for this recipe. This is what I had on hand. This is the large burrito size, but my favorite size to use is the medium. It's just a little bit easier to get in and out of this particular air fryer. But if you are keto, you could also use like a low carb tortilla and make a lower carb pizza for yourself. So this would be a really good option if you are on a keto diet. And then I'm just adding on some marinara sauce. Of course, you can use pizza sauce. And then I'm just adding on mozzarella cheese as well as my pepperoni, but go ahead and use whatever toppings that you want to add. I just put mine in the air fryer around 325 degrees for around like eight minutes or so. Check it around the seven minute mark and see how yours is doing. Every air fryer is going to be a little bit different, but it definitely doesn't take very long and it gets really nice and crispy. We absolutely love this for our lunch. So if you're looking for kids lunch ideas, this would definitely be a perfect one that's really delicious. For this next recipe, I'm making some air fryer chicken sandwiches. And this actually really reminds me of the KFC chicken littles. They turned out so good. So I'm just starting off with my panko. So this is about three quarters cup of panko breadcrumbs. I'm also adding in about half a cup of flour, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of paprika, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, as well as about a quarter teaspoon of some thyme and dried ginger, and then half a teaspoon of black pepper. I know that's a lot of different ingredients here, so don't worry, I will have this recipe linked down below for you guys. Now once I have all of my ingredients in there, I'm just going to give this a quick mix together in a Ziploc bag. Of course you can do this in a dish or something, but I just did it in a Ziploc on this day for a really easy way to coat my chicken. So for this chicken, I have two chicken breasts that I cut in half lengthwise, and then I also cut those pieces in half. So you're gonna get four pieces out of each chicken breast. You definitely want the pieces to be really nice and thin for this recipe, and it will turn out absolutely delicious. But I just coated it right into the mixture that I just mixed up, that flour mixture. I should mention that I did go ahead and soak my chicken in buttermilk for about half an hour before I actually coated my chicken, just to give them a little bit more flavor and to make them nice and juicy. Now I'm just heading over to my air fryer. I'm spraying it with a little bit of the cooking spray and then I'm just adding my chicken right into my basket here. I was able to fit all eight pieces of chicken into my air fryer. Of course, this is gonna depend on how large your air fryer is. But this Alec Combs one does fit quite a bit of food in here, so I definitely really love this air fryer. If you're in the market for one, I love it. I will have it linked down below off of Amazon. I know it's been on sale recently, so you might be able to get a good deal on it but I just put these in at 375 degrees for about 10 minutes. Make sure that the internal temp reaches 165 degrees and they will come out really nice and crispy. After I flipped them, I did go ahead and put them in for about another five minutes on the other side. And I did also spray the tops. When you spray the tops of chicken in the air fryer, it just makes it get really nice and like golden brown and crispy like it would if you were pan frying it. So it makes you feel like you're eating deep fried food even though it's a lot healthier for you this way. So that's one of the things that I absolutely love about my air fryer. So I'm just throwing them in for a couple more minutes and then they come out really nice and crispy and absolutely delicious. I ended up just serving these in a bun with some ranch and this was such a quick and easy dinner that our whole family loved.
For this next recipe, I'm making some really easy chicken burritos in the air fryer. So I am going to be pan frying some chicken, but you can also get the pre-cooked chicken from the store if you just want this to be a straight up air fryer recipe. You can skip this step and use pre-cooked chicken. But here I'm just heating up a little bit of butter and some olive oil. And then I'm adding in my chicken that I had all cut up into some bite-sized pieces. I'm just seasoning this up with a little bit of garlic powder, some onion powder and then some Tony seasoning this is one of my favorite combinations for doing chicken when I want it to have just a little bit of Mexican flavor it turns out so good this way I just cooked the chicken up until it was completely cooked through and then I'm gonna be making my burritos over on my island So now to actually assemble my burritos, I have a variety of ingredients here and one of the things that I love is that I can really customize these to my family. So my husband does not like beans in his, but for mine and the kids, I always like to add brown rice in there. I cook it in chicken broth for some extra flavor. I've got some corn, the chicken, as well as some black beans, some salsa, some of sour cream, some cheese, and these just turn out so, so good. And you can actually also freeze them and they turn out really good that way too. So if you've never tried making your own chicken burritos at home, I highly recommend it. They always turn out absolutely amazing. Now I'm just gonna pop these into my air fryer to crisp them up a little bit. Again, I do like to spray it with a little bit of cooking spray just to give it that really nice golden brown color that you would see on a burrito. I'm putting these in at 350 for about five minutes and then you can always add a couple minutes later on if you want them to crisp up even more. But this is what they end up looking like. They may not be the prettiest, but I promise you they will taste absolutely delicious. All right guys, that is going to wrap up this air fryer video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already. I would love to have you over on my channel for tons more cooking content, really quick and easy recipes. Sunday's video is actually going to be a crock pot dinners video. So if that is something that you're interested in, make sure you stay tuned. But I will catch you all in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, bye. As a young girl, the fields were mine We played hide and seek for hours Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care